assume this is going to be his style Drucker. Rapid Spin Blastoise. I'm going to use Gold Burst. Four times weak to it. He's, he might be Focus Sash on this. Never mind. Max Spadef right on. Using Toxic on this. I'm just going to keep uh, throwing off a Skull because he could be going into his Blastoise there. I'm faster than him, so that's why. Because uh, if I click Style Rocket, just Rapid Spins the next turn, and now I have a chance to get off a burn. Yo, what's up guys, AFCAD on here and welcome to a new video. We're going to be bringing out the Drag Mag uh, team again. At uh, this time, I did put the hidden ability on my Dragonite, so... <laughs> oh, that was so annoying. Because um, in the last game, um, I actually... I, I found out uh, in the battle that I didn't have the hidden ability, meaning that Scizor did, more, did about half to my HP <laughs> with an unboosted bu bullet punch, uh, choice bandit uh, bullet punch. Uh, which otherwise I would have just taken 25% or something while get, while keeping up the leftovers recovery. But uh, yeah, we fixed it now. Hopefully uh, <laughs> you can do a bit better. And yeah, if you guys are interested in this team, you can check it out on Patreon. There's a poker base plus team building video. And yeah, uh, subscribe to the channel as well. I'm on my way to 3.9k, aka 4,000 subscribers soon, hopefully. And I'm going to pause the video and we'll be right back. Uh, okay, guys, uh, a few seconds before our next uh, game. Let's see what we'll find this time. Um, oh, Porygon. Okay, it's going to be a tough one. It's going to be a tough one. Uh, the Porygon is going to be tough to break, uh, to be honest. Um, but I can't trap the the Scizor. And once I trap the Scizor with my Magnezone, um, I will be able to uh, basically spam Toxic on his team. Um, I can do it from the start as well as if he switches in his uh, scissor against my Amoongus, um, then that wouldn't make sense because I can hit him Power of Fire or Spore him. Uh, he doesn't know that I have Toxic on my Amoongus instead of Spore, so I can definitely catch him there. Um, I assume he's either going to lead Ape or he's going to lead off with the Rotom. Um, I think Swampert it seems like a pretty solid lead for me. He leads off with Garchomp, that's fine too, so he wants to lead off with the Stealth Rocker. Um, I have Ice Beam on my guy, so basically what I can do is click Ice Beam turn 1 if he wants to stay in and click Stealth Rock. And then click Stealth Rock myself. If he decides to bring in Starmie to Rapid Spin, I can go directly into my Mandibus and click Defog on his Rapid Spin as he won't be able to threaten me. And once there... Because if Garchomp dies, it's basically over. Uh, for him, uh, in, in the sense that he doesn't get up rocks. It's his ground type resist, so my Magnezone gets to spam Volt Switch against him. That's something I gotta keep in mind. If I do trap his Scizor, that does mean my Magnezone is gonna die due to his Porygon having the... Uh, his Porygon having the uh, Trace ability most likely. If it's down low, then it's completely fine. But if it's Trace, he can trap my Magnezone if I lock myself into Hidden Power Fire. So definitely keep that one in mind. Oh, those are the ways basically this uh, game can go. He decides to go run him. Let's see if he has leftovers. He has leftovers. I don't touch him at all. Uh, I'm not sure what I, what he's going to do to me. Um, he has Starmie with Rapid Spin, so I don't know if, if this is Defog. And uh, we can find out. We can also go Among Us. Two options. Is it bad if this gets statused? Stealth Rock anyway. Yeah, he has Will-O-Wisp. It's fine. Um, I'm not in the need of clicking Earthquake against this team. It could be nice against Starmie though. But I sh st should still do some decent damage. And since this is Will-O-Wisp, um, I think my Dragonite can be good. I need to break that Porygon too to win with Dragonite. Which might become really difficult. I do have Brick Break on my Weavile though. So if I, if, if I weaken Porygon a bit... And um, if I do weaken Porygon a bit, then I can 2 hit kill him with Brick Break. He doesn't have any good switch-ins aside from Starmie. But yeah, this one I'm going to bring in the Among Us. Let's see if he has Defog. Because if he has Defog, he doesn't have anything that switches in. Uh, he doesn't have any recovery on his Rotom. 
uh, meaning that if I do land something like Toxic, because he might try to um, burn this guy, uh, Rotom doesn't get any recovery, and having my Amoongus burned is not a big deal at all. Like, not a big deal. And I can just click Toxic again, even. I could also just go for Fall Play, which hits a lot of his team too. So actually what I'm going to do, I don't assume he's going to stay in against me. And uh, maybe he goes he goes into Scizor. See, if I click Toxic there, I didn't gain anything. Now I get the Fall Play damage up, which is... Oh, okay, that's the... Def yeah, I'm burnt. I'm burnt. That's that's the reason. Um, I do have Magnus on, so I don't think he's going to stay in versus me. I do want to keep Swamp it a bit. Um, don't have Hidden Power of Fire, of course. <laughs> we didn't. We don't see leftovers, so I mean, it can be a lot of things. I cannot clear smoke this. That's the thing. That's the thing. Um, who I go in? Like I want to keep Mandibus alive. I think we just go Swampert there. If Swampert, if he decides to kill my Swampert, I trap him with Zone. And if he's a Sword Stance U-turn set, I can always go Magnus Zone anyway. And he decides to U-turn on me regardless. Which reveals to me that he's Choice Bandit. Because he did 43 to me. Uh, meaning that next time I can just stay in with my guy. He decides to go into Starmie here. Uh, which means I can go into my Mandy Buzz. Which is literally there for this Pokemon. And then I can get off a U-turn. Uh, I got the Rod on Poison, which is really important. Decides to go for Pump. He misses. Which is fine. I, I get off my U-turn. Uh, I don't... Know if he goes for Ice Beam, but I can get in Weavile. And from there, we can... Oh, maybe I'll go for Night Slash regardless there. We'll just have to see. Goes Rotom. Awesome. Get the U-turn off here. And let's see... I go... I go Dragonite. Um, gonna Volt Switch, most likely. Maybe he's going to try to whisk me. Um, I don't want to reveal my tech. But I can e easily sub on his face. What I'll do is I'll go Magnus on. And I'll double into my Swampert. Um... Discovers him going into Garchomp. Get Flash Cannon too, but if he clicks Full Switch on me. I discovers discovers him going into Garchomp straight away. And discovers him clicking Volt Switch and also him taking more poison damage. Oh. Yeah, exactly. So he goes into Swampert there. Uh, he goes into his Garchomp. I have my Swampert in, which should technically not die to this. And I can throw off my Ice Beam. As he clicks Draco, like I said, I don't think I should die. I do die, okay. Never mind. He's max special attack life orb. That's, that's a miscalculation on my part. What can you do? What can you do? Um, going to this guy. I think Icicle Spare is still pretty free against him. Because, like I said, Rotom is on the timer. I'm play I'm going to play this game without rocks, which is a bit which is a bit annoying. But knowing that Guard Jump is live for with Draco Meteor, that means my Mandy Buzz can easily wall him. And he doesn't really have a way of beating my Mandy Buzz in return, so I can definitely make some use out of this. Spice to go into this. Uh, this is actually the reason I wanted to have my Mandy Buzz alive. Uh my Swampert alive. But I don't know if this is going to be mixed. I think... I think going Dragonite first is pretty safe. Definitely want to keep Amoongus for the other guy. And he goes for Overheat. Okay. Well, since he clicked Overheat there, he dropped a special attack. Doing absolutely nothing. And I'm going to click Dragon Claw uh, straight away. Oh, he's live for Muter, and that's even better, because I want that guy damaged. He actually brings in the Starmie, uh, meaning I get off damage against this. 
That's really nice. And I'm gonna bring in Mandibus. Yeah, I'm just gonna bring in Mandibus. Uh, I could go Weavile, but I don't have Pursuit. If I had Pursuit, that would have been an awesome play. Uh, but I don't want, want to take unnecessary damage on Weavile. Literally have my um, my Mandibus for this guy. I mean, he's gonna Ice Beam me anyway. Not gonna do much. I am forced to Roost there. And then Rota most likely comes in on me. Um, he takes Hydro. Oh, that's fine. The best case, actually, that he, that he went for the attack. Because now I get this guy back to full HP. Get off a U-turn again. And if he goes Rotom, um, it's gonna put me into a quite, into quite a good position there. Actually, go Scizor. So now I get to trap this guy. That's great. Go Magnezon. because this is gonna open up my Weavile quite a bit. Kill this guy. I think he's gonna trap me with his Porygon. That's just a trade-off, but killing Scizor. Really nice. Because now I can just commit Amoongus to... Um, oh, he actually goes Garchomp. He should have gone into his Porygon and killed me, but... Uh, maybe he thought it was, uh, was Leftovers. And because he showed me the set against my Swampert, I know my uh, Mandibus can easily deal with this. Because I can just debug in his face. And this is download. Okay, so we, that was the reason. Um, I cannot let this guy take a discharge or a toxic hex. I'm just gonna go zone there. Don't, I don't really need this guy at this point, but I cannot let something happen with my Mandy Bus because it just walls guard on plus Starmie. Gonna Thunderbolt. Like I said, I just want damage and maybe I get a para. That's beautiful enough uh, for me. Assuming now I can go Amoongus. Like I said, I trapped the Scizor. So, because of trapping the Scizor, um, keep clicking try attack, bro. I don't think I died to Ice Beam. He only got an, an attack boost, so I'm clicking Toxic now. He swaps into the Starmie, which has Natural Cure, but I cannot miss Toxic, so I don't lose anything from this play. Plus, I got damage off on Porygon now. I got damage off on Porygon, which is huge, because now I go Mandy Buzz. Goes Infernape, which... He revealed my... He revealed his set, by the way. He revealed his set. Uh, meaning he has a set that doesn't kill me because it's overheat. Unless he has Brave Bird. Unless, unless he has, um, what it, what's it called? Stone Edge. Or even Stone Edge. Like it's the maximum amount of damage he can do to me. And now I'm going to knock him out with the Brave Bird. That's something that could have killed my uh, Weavile as well. So I'm glad that thing is gone. So my Weavile keeps looking stronger and stronger against this team. Um, let's see how much his last Draco did to me. He didn't click Draco against me, but I'm pretty certain... I'm pretty certain Mandibus takes Draco. From there. But this time I am going to Kalk. Cannot have him kill me there. Because <laughs> if, if he doesn't kill me, then there's no reason to switch out. Yeah, he doesn't kill me. I'm just gonna roost. Get this guy healthy again. It's all the information I got when he attacked my Swampert. Knowing that he's max special attack with Draco Meteor. And we're just gonna keep clicking roost. I assume he's gonna swap against me. 
and he decides to forfeit, so uh, we still win this game. Um, like I said, guys, uh, basically, I needed to trap Scizor, and when Scizor was gone, um, Among Us clicks Toxic against his team. He does have the Starmie, um, but Starmie doesn't get any healing off against my Among Us, and then he needs to make the double every time. And he was leftovers. If I was full HP, I could have stayed in with Among Us and clicked double toxic perhaps, or just kick a drain, get some damage off on something. But I did get off the damage against Porygon, so I, basically I would always do it KO Porygon. It was also really unlikely that he was going to live uh, two Icicle Spears. But maybe I could have played differently against this Garchomp with my Swampert. But the information I got was valuable as well. Let's see. He has a Volcarona. The one is going to be a bit scary. Um, Togekiss. We have Magnezone, depending on the Togekiss set, of course. We trap Scizor with Zone. Yeah, if we kill Scizor, I think we can win with Garchomp. Uh, with Dragonite. Once I Dragon Dance up against him. Well, we gotta go off that. I think I'm just going to lead up with Swamp right there. This, gonna, this looks a bit tough. It does look a bit tough. Um, the matchup in general. Um, this is why I have Brave Bird on Volk on my Mandibus. I actually have something uh, against the Volcarona. But yeah, do I just Ice Beam here? I think we just do. Yeah, I just click Style Rock in my face. I just get off my Ice Beam. I don't know if he is. Uh, maybe he is Focus Sash. Maybe he isn't. But getting off this Ice Beam is pretty damn cool. Get off my Style Rock now. Because if Starmie chooses to defog against me. Okay, he's life orbed. Starmie chooses to defog versus me. Then um, I can. A uh, rapid spin against me, I can defog with Mandibus. So I'll just keep that one in mind. And. He's gonna click Skull there. He's gonna knock himself out. Damn, man, that's just so much damage, bro. Like, offensive, physical, life form. Like, bro, <laughs> calm down, man. I assume he goes Starmie here to Rapid Spin. Maybe he doesn't. But having this guy still alive can... Pre oh, he actually goes straight into Volcarona. My man. I have Dragonite in the back. I assume he's just gonna quiver dance up against me, but I'm gonna bring a many bus. And I'm gonna Brave Bird. Maybe he's just gonna roost. I think he's gonna quiver dance first. I mean if I trade here, is that bad? I'm really debating debating what oh fuck he's I don't see I don't see leftovers. I think I need to kill him. He might be life worth. I mean if this dies can still be helpful. I need to kill him. Yeah. Yeah, it's life orbs. <laughs> I needed him gone, so... I I will have to play with Stealth Rock up on my side of the field, which sucks. But I, I'm not in Rapid Spin range of Starmie, so... Definitely can use something there. He decides to go Scizor. I'm gonna defuck in his face. As he clicks close combat, because now I go into my Magnezone. Doesn't do I not just win if I spam Thunderbolt against him? If I just spam Thunderbolt there, I think I win. That minus one but but I don't know if he's running max HP on that guy. Um, let's see, Magnezone. Scizor. Minus one. Thunderbolt does 79 if he's max speed. To 94. I just don't know if he... Because if he doesn't run max speed... If he does run max HP... Oh, that's actually max HP, by the way. Oh, this is a kill. I just spammed Thunderbolt, literally. That way, he Starmie cannot rep spin for me because I think I'm faster than Starmie. So he decides to bring in uh, the Rotom. Um, you know, he doesn't kill me. 
I can still use Magnezone, but if if it's Scarf Dogekiss, if it's Scarf Dogekiss, I might want to do something against it. I think I can literally still use this guy, so I'm gonna go Amoongus, which is completely useless. Um, I have Icicle Spare against Dogekiss if it's some crazy set. And like I said, if it's Scarf, I keep my Magnezone alive. And I'm just clicking Toxic here, to be honest. But I did a lot of... I don't see leftovers. Oh, he's using screens. Come on, bro. L really, bro? Screens? I'm gonna Giga Train in case he reflects. I mean, if you go Togekiss, I literally use Weavile versus you. I use Dragonite, so... And let's see if he's leftovers. By the way, next time Rodom comes in, he's gonna be lower. And let's see if he's leftovers. He's leftovers. Could have double Toxic, to be honest, but I thought he might use Reflect against me. And that's why I didn't opt to go for that other play. I still use Dragonite as well. I think Swampert is kind of useless. But he did reveal Hydro Pump, Volt Switch, Light Screen. Does he have Reflect with Light Clay? Is that the, that thing he's running? I can go into my Swampert. Like I said, I have Icicle Spare from Weavile. Choice Bandit Icicle Spare. I will always outspeed him. He clicks Aura Sphere. I will be forced to go Weavile here. If I don't get the hits, that would be problematic, actually. He didn't set up yet. He didn't set up. It depends on how fast he is. But if... If he's... Like, if he's... I think I need three hits against Dogekiss. I need three hits. But if he's not max defense, like if he's max speed and I... With two hits I get... 69% damage to 81.6. I'm, I'm forced to go Weavile here. We can use Icicle Spear. He stays in. Let's see. Give me the three hits. One, two. Two hits were enough. So it was an offensive one. Max special attack, max speed. Um, yeah, I should win. So Rodham comes in there. Gonna go into... Um, well, Magnus on still as well. Yeah, I'm gonna go Among Us. It's over. It's checkmate. Because if he volt switches, I just spam Giga Drain on Starmie. I literally spam Giga Drain here too. Oh, well, he has light screen up, but yeah, like I said, I just spam Giga Drain. Doesn't really matter. And he decides to forfeit. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Not, not the ideal game for me, but uh, I'm gonna pause the video and we'll try to get in another one. Okay, guys, we're back a few seconds before our next game. Let's see if we can find something interesting here. Never mind. <laughs> no suitable opponent found. Okay, we'll be right back. Okay, guys, we're back again. Let's see if we're luckier this time in finding an opponent. Thank you. Thank you. I'm giving me a decent opponent, too. Come on. No, never mind. Never mind. Uh, okay. This guy either is a legend or I'm just facing a noob who just brought three starter Pokemon to the ladder. Which in which only one Pokemon is really OU, being being the Venusaur. But uh let's uh let's go in to this game uh, like we usually do. So let's see. Manibus takes care of the Venusaur. Uh Swampert overall has a pretty good matchup, but I I am kind of afraid of the Snorlax, so I gotta keep Amoongus with Clear Smog alive. 
but I, he never gets to curse spam against me. Manibus also really important. I don't know what this get what this uh, Charizard is going to do to me. So I definitely want to try to get up my rocks for steam. I'm gonna lead up with my boy, and he leads up with his right on, because he, he's right on time. Okay, this guy's a legend, I guess. He's ranked 79, bringing this team. Okay, yes, 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 he must have some niche going on. Um, I believe one hit KO moves are banned, so I assume this is going to be his Stealth Rocker. Rapid Spin Blastoise. I'm going to use Gold Burst. Four times weak to it. He's, he might be Focus Sash on this. Never mind. Max Pedep right on. Using Toxic on this. I'm just going to keep uh, throwing off a Skull because he could be going into his Blastoise there. I'm faster than him, so that's why. Because uh, if I click Stealth Rocket, just Rapid Spins the next turn. And now I have a chance to get off a Burn. There we go. I guess this is going to be a bulky Blastoise because uh, I did quite a bit of damage to him. Okay, he did poison me, so that's a bit annoying. Um, don't want to take a... I think this is going to be a rest uh, Blasto Blastoise, which is going to be a pain to kill, to be honest. It's going to be a real pain to kill. Um, I'm going to Rock here. Because um, he can Rapid Spin, but I don't want to switch in Among Us to... Um, I don't want to switch in Among Us to a Scald. Because I want him... I'll let him Rapid Spin on this turn. My Swamp it is on a timer, unfortunately, but uh, I want to I want to force him to rapid spin so I can get Amoongus in. He's gonna take the Rocky Helmet chip. This is the Pokemon I need to kill uh, for my uh, Weavile to do something to against him. He's gonna take this Rocky Helmet uh, chip, and I don't know if he's gonna use Ice Beam against me. Maybe he's gonna try to Skull Burn me, but I feel like I can just go for the. Don't have hidden power of fire on this one. Just go for the foul play. It's getting him to switch into Venusaur. Get some chip on him. Very little chip. Oh, I see. Oh, he's running it a bit on a, uh, on a stall setup. I don't know if this is going to be toxic or leech. Um, still going to use Mandibus against this. It's literally for this and for the Alakazam. I don't know what I'm facing against Charizard. He uses Hidden Power of Fire. Um, but having the Blastoise burned like that can help. It really depends if it's Rest Blastoise. But he doesn't have a Night Slash Switch on his team either. I have Brave Word on this. I'm going to U-turn. As he decides to stay in, I could have easily Brave Word it. But maybe he, didn't, he doesn't expect me to have Brave Word. Which is fine, of course. And I'm going to bring in my Weavile. Which he truly only has two Pokemon he can switch into. I don't think he lets this die because he's going to lose to Among Us. Uh, so I'm going to use my uh, Night Slash here. Which hits Snorlax. Which hits uh, the Blastoise. Could have Brick Breaked, but I don't think Brick Break is a 2-hit KO. And that is definitely a 2-hit KO. And like I said, he doesn't have a Dark-type resist on his team. So if I kill Snorlax, don't have to worry about him. And then my Among Us is a bit less needed. Now Charizard comes in. I have no freaking clue what this Pokemon is going to do to me. Um, I do have Dragonite in the back. I don't think I will ever get up Stealth Rock. But I need to keep my uh, Weavile. Like, I have to take this guy seriously. He's obviously ranked 79. Uh, even though he brings something like this. It's a lot of niche. Um, what do I want to see there? Mandy Buzz. I'm gonna lose Alakazam if Mandy Buzz dies. I think we gotta bring in the Dragonite. Dragonite can sweep him though. Now that I look at look at it. Dragonite can really sweep him. Uh, this is a tough one. Do I just remove my Swampert? I'm gonna remove Swampert. Against Blastoise, I'm never getting up rocks. And I need to figure out what kind of Charizard I'm dealing with. 
That is not specs, at least. So again, uh, we're gonna go for the Stealth Rock. Because Blastoise, he, he, he will still be forced to Rapid Spin, so he's gonna take my Rocky Helmet damage. And I need to figure out his set. We saw a Rapid Spin Scald. So maybe it's... But it's Toxic Blastoise, right? Oh no, it's, it was Toxic Rhydon. So he's forced to Rapid Spin. We're gonna bring in Among Us again. Uh, now that Snorlax is gone, I don't need him necessarily to uh, clear Smog against the Snorlax. I actually did quite a bit. That might be Choice Bandit uh, Snorlax, actually. I don't know, think about it. So I did a lot of damage to him. Like Snorlax has a lot of HP, and they are usually they usually have a bit of defense, so they can take something like a Brick Break. But uh, I'm gonna make the same play again, because he'll be forced to switch out against me. That's that's what that's the beautiful thing here. I, I obviously don't like switching into Ice Beam, but I force him out here to I force him out here, which is amazing. And I don't even need to predict. I'm just gonna Giga Drain. Um, if I keep this guy low, he won't be able to switch into my Weavile. Yeah, cool. He tried to Scald Burn me, so he does get the burn, but I get off my Giga Drain. Now show me if you have uh, show me if you have rest. This might be rest sleep dog. And if it's rest sleep dog, I can scald into him. I, I can giga drain into him. And yeah, okay. So I basically eliminated all his ice ice type resist because Snorlax had, had the ability thick fat. I don't want to bring in Mandibus now at this point, so because of Sludge Bomb, I keep Swampert as a second to Charizard. Okay, do I let go of Amoongus? Amoongus doesn't do much, no. I think he's just in the way. I'm gonna keep clicking Clear Smog. Because I don't want Mandibus getting poisoned. Clear Sludge Bomb, Hidden Power, Fire. I assume he has Giga Drain. I don't know if he has Synthesis. But I don't think that matters at this point. Because I play my kill once Weeball comes in. Ideally, I die to the burn here. Yes. Yes, cool. I get off my Clear Smog. Like I said, Amoongus is not going to win against Alakazam. It's not going to win against Charizard. Blastoise is already gone. And yeah, Rhydon. I mean, most of my team kills it already. So I get in Weevil now. And there's no need to predict at this point. Because Blastoise is just going to kill. He's just going to die to me. So I assume he's going to sack Blastoise. I still have Swampert alive actually. So I can still get up rocks. I really need to. But I assume he's going to bring in Charizard again. I am just going to sack uh, my... My Magnezone. It's slower than Alakazam. And I have to lock myself into Flash Cannon against him. Which against Charizard is not going to be ideal. That way I can get, still get up rocks. Assuming he doesn't have anything to kill my Swampert. I think that's the play. I also have Dragonite, but I think Dragonite sets up on... Which Dragonite can literally win. I'm gonna go Magnezon. Sack him. Just get Magnezon so I could, could kill Blastoise, just in case. Now I'm gonna go into my Swampert. So, um, he cannot kill me with Flamethrower. Cool, I get on my rocks. And now I can go Dragonite next. I think I just Dragon Dance up against him. Since so I have uh, the multi skill this time, so we just sack this. 
Because if I went Swamp directly, he would have just 2 KO'd me and I wouldn't get up rocks. But now if he switches out, I guess Rapid Spinner is gone. Uh, Charizard is the only one that can use Debug on his team. Now I just Dragon... Now I just Dragon Dance. Nice crit, bro. It's over. I win. We're gonna get the Dragonite Sweet, boys! I'm gonna use Substitute there. And he forfeits. <laughs> I wasn't... <laughs> he didn't let me. I mean... He was high ranking. Pretty interesting team. I respect it, I respect it. I don't think I would try to pull off that team. <laughs> but he obviously yeah, I got really high on the ladder with that guy, uh, with that team. But yeah, we played to our strengths. And like I said, um, I just needed to remove the Pokemon that um, can take Ice type attacks from Weavile, Snorlax, Blastoise, uh, which we did. Which we did. And yeah, then it was just smooth sailing. Uh, all I need. Because especially with Blastoise gone and me getting up rocks. Because the moment I force out the Charizard, um, Charizard is going to die to Weavile because he's going to be at half HP and then uh, Weavile literally kills his whole team uh, unless Alakazam is on the Focus Sash. I am surprised though that... Uh, oh wait, maybe the Rhydon was actually... Maybe Rhydon was Solid Rock. That, make, that would make sense. I think Rhydon was at the ability Solid Rock. Oh, and he doesn't get that ability. Huh. How did he take that so well, though? That's insane. Because Skull was four times super effective against him. Uh, but uh, whatever, though. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button. Three wins in a row for you guys. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Um, I'm on my way to 3.9k subscribers. Would like it. 4,000 subscribers before the end of the month. Um, it's going to be a really tough goal. But uh, hopefully, hopefully we can get it. Uh, and otherwise, it's going to be next month. And also consider checking out my Patreon if you are interested in the team I use. Um, I have a Poker Pace plus team building video on this team. I also offer team building support on Patreon and even one-on-one -on -one coaching, uh, private coaching. So check it all out. It's all linked down below. And yeah, with that all being said, I hope you have a wonderful day. And I hope to see you in the next video. Peace out.